G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a bloodied pole hook with 40% faster swing speed, and we're going to take less damage whilst power attacking. 40% less, would you believe? Uh, those are the major and minor legendary effects, respectively. So, a bloodied swing speed pole hook seems pretty good, right? It is a three star weapon, so yeah, pretty damn good. And talking about the damage of this thing first off 138, that is obviously enhanced by the puncturing uh, attachment. You get those at Raid of Vendors. I'm not actually sure if you can unlock that, but Raid of Vendors, I just got it, you know, um, at the top of the sun. Sunnyville Station or whatever. So in terms of this thing's damage, I think the purpose of this thing is to sort of bridge the gap between Baseball Bat and Super Sledge. So if we go find our Super Sledge, 145, 138, and yep, 116. So there's a little bit of natural progression in that. But it's a bloodied swing speed weapon, so we're not going to be struggling on damage. Although, of course, there are better options out there if you're going for raw damage output. This thing, however, is a little bit lighter than a Super Sledge. So there's something to, you know... Consider if you're a little bit low on the carry weight. Nobody is anymore with the backpacks, but still. Alright, so 138 damage. Let's get this thing specced up. It is a two-handed weapon, just like it was back in Far Harbor, which is another thing that I forgot to mention until now. It is a Far Harbor weapon, much like the, um, the meat hook and also the, uh lever action rifle so it's here it's um i'm not sure how much fishing you do in west virginia i guess there's rivers here and there whether it be for regular fishing as i try to fucking find that last perk um you know maybe you'd be better off with a fishing rod you won't be stabbing much gulpers with this oh you can stab gulpers okay so there's bloody mess and all the slugger perks we've got just the basic sort of thing going on in agility. There's, they've done something with the perk things. I have to slam the mouse button down. So we're going for the natural sneaking thing with adrenaline, escape artist for sneaking purposes, and dead man sprinting because gun feel is broken thanks to uh, patch 10. So yeah, we're going to give this one a run for its money, no pun intended. And with all those perks, 253 damage, and just to give you an idea again of the super sledge, 266. So we're not too far off. So it's actually pretty bad. Pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Yes, alright, time to irradiate myself. Alrighty, so take note of my current health. I'm only just under Nerd Rage Threshold. I fine-tune it just by picking up dirty water from the uh, thing, though. So, I'm basically at 20% right now. So, 11.32 damage is a little bit more room with the health that I still have. But I'm thinking just sitting at the very tippy top of Nerd Rage Threshold is going to be good enough. Because we're doing over 1k damage with this thing, which is pretty damn good. Alright, we've got a spawn. It looks like all of those people that are playing Nuclear Winter have cleared out of the server, which means I can sit here and indulge in maximum ghoul spawnage, uh, including feral ghoul roamers. Okay, whatever floats your boat game. Let's just see what we can do. A three star, and he is dead. He is also dead. So yay, damage numbers. We can actually see just how much damage we're doing against these guys, which is quite enough, I think. I think if we were doing any more damage, we'd break the servers. Oh my god, 13,000 with a headshot. Yay, at least we get the we, we get a good damage range now, don't we? Okay, that's a bug that ha they haven't done. Are you sitting down? Okay, he looked like he was alive for a second. That's odd. And no, that's not the legendary I got game. Okay, we can speed this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get these guys with... Hey, that's a good pickaxe if you're really not into using vats. Yes, we'll speed this up a little bit because we can. We've got the swing speed, so we can probably just get away with not sneaking and we'll be just fine. Yeah, no no, no real surprise there. So swing speed in these situations are good. Even if you've got a big slow melee weapon like this thing would usually be, there's no problems. And of course, headshots actually do work on melees, so... It's, it's good, it's a great way to get yourself damaged if you're feeling a little bit precise. So if you're feeling like your all rise is not doing the damage you'd like it to, what you can do is contract radworms and then get killed by ghouls. No, what you can do is aim for the noggin and that'll actually increase your damage output quite significantly mine, so that's pretty good. Okay, overly aggressive run with these ghouls, probably too risky, but we've managed to get ourselves out of it thanks to this thing's um, very, very fast swing speed. Again, that is boosted also by martial artists, which is great. We've, we picked up red worms there, but as you can tell, with all of the ghouls running at us, even without the use of stealth, we're able to get ourselves out of that situation very well. So, a particularly strong start, especially that 13,000 damage headshot that I did with a sneak attack critical. Okay, that's fire. Okay, that's not ghoul stomping around. That is definitely fire. But yes, in insane damage out of that. 
There we go. I just hit another one for 10k. I don't... Maybe it's because I had adrenaline as well. I think it's because I had adrenaline at 60%, sneak attack critical for 10k. So, yes, I'm really glad that they've added this damage numbers update. So I don't have to actually go around and attack big, strong enemies just to see how much damage this thing can do. Rather, now it is just seeing in what kind of situations where this thing might struggle or, you know, excel in. And apparently in Ghoul, Ghoul Central, it excels in crowd control situations because you can just one-shot him and you can kill him as fast as you can swing, which is a pretty fast... It's got a fast swing speed, so your time to kill is very quick. Alrighty, time to step this up a little bit. So we've now got... Hang on, let me show you. We've now got... Uh, radical on which is going to boost our strength even more by the way here's my special because of all of that unyielding and here are my buffs including it's T that makes us smarter and stuff so that, that's worth it and useful so we'll probably be hitting these guys for a little bit less because I've got a little bit more in the damage I mean you know I wasn't considering the how the five strength would help us but still hey scorched earth is on oh wait no they just killed it okay cool don't know what that one was staring at, but with, even without the sneak attack critical, we almost hit him for 5k damage just by, you know, just whacking him in the back of the head with this. Teleport over to you, mate. There you go. So, no problem. I'm not really sure if dead man's, if dead man sprinting is actually worth it right now, because I'm not doing a whole lot of sprinting. I mean, I can. I can. I'm just going to send it. Look how fast I'm running. I'm like Usain Bolt. Completely untouchable, basically. I mean, yeah, because... Of course I'm untouchable, because I've got thing that allows me to, you know, avoid damage randomly. So, anyways, so taking a look at that damage with Adrenaline, 1748. Pretty damn solid. I'm just going to continue sending it and just sprinting up to these guys and whacking them, because it appears to do the job pretty well. I'm going to execute some dodge moves here. Oh, we actually blocked that. And he blocked every single bit of that damage. All of that damage. Now, that is a rolling pin right there. You get a power attack. All right. We are being shot by that turret, which is a little bit unfortunate. But old mate over here, he can't block his, our attacks because he's got some sort of laser gun he, he's not trained to. And we can go ahead and do that. Interestingly, how he resisted that much damage by blocking, you'd think some of it would get through, right? Just, you know, from the impact of it or something. Hey, there's free ammo here. This is definitely not a trap at all. I'm pinching all of this, by the way. All right, let's get inside. All right, we're on. I'm thankful for Nuclear Winter to, you know, pull some players out of adventure mode and make my life killing super mutants <laughs> in this place oh so much easier. I'm glad about that. You're probably wondering to hear my thoughts on Nuclear Winter. It's all right. It, it feels like the furthest thing from Fallout I've ever done in a Fallout game. But, but it works for what it is. I feel like they've done a good a good job recreating Fortnite and Fallout 76. And there are some things about it that I like. I like how knowledge of the map is a good help. So if you know where some decent bits of loot are here and there in the overworld in adventure mode, you know, knowledge you've gathered throughout your time. Where the fuck are you, by the way? I've just been out sneak to buy a super mutant overlord that proves how dumb I am maybe I am a super mutant just at, at a computer right here just a little bit more um well spoken than the rest of my green brothers I don't really know but yeah I, th I think like apart from a couple of balancing issues here and there in terms of like not being able to choose your perks like complete RNG perk nonsense which I, I don't like I think I'd like it a lot better if it was if you you get to choose what perks you have instead of having RNG choose because sometimes you could get combat perks. Okay, that was dumb. Alrighty, we're back in and it appears the super mutants that killed me is still aggroed to me, so maybe they've leveled up or something. So we're back just on the cusp of nerd rage before because I entered this place with being hit by a couple of ghouls a couple of times. So, you know, they're able to get me with a couple of cheap shots. You, you can't really rely on... Um, on serendipity there are limitations to it so you can't really rely on it when you're basically one shot from dying that's that's probably when you want to say you know what i need to take some health on so you know lesson learned in future we'll probably just try to dial back those rads a little bit before taking on the super mutants i don't think i did anything wrong other than that maybe i was playing a little bit too aggressively i was trying to use this thing without sneak which honestly 
that's not really what my build's for. I'm definitely better off, you know, sneaking. It's just a regular two-shot. Well, it's going to be under-leveled, so it's going into the script bin. But that's okay. We're almost at 1k scripts for this character, and I can have another go at redeeming a shitload of script for a video or something, just to see what you got, because... Let, I'll tell you something, that they really like those unboxing videos or these crate videos, like, that's a thing, right? People liking what, watching those things, is that true? I, I, I don't really know. What I do know is I need to get into the bloody hell room before I lose this adrenaline, which I might have already. We'll just spam that motherfucking E key, and we'll get started on these blokes, shall we? Go for a power attack as we're coming down, so we're hitting him even harder with the gravity and shit. And whack you. I do always use um, a bird bones because there we go. There's a nice 300 dam uh, 3,000 damage on that cloak. Might as well go up and whack you. All right, we're a little bit outgunned here, and that guy's got an automatic rifle. You'll find that serendipity only does so much to actually resist the damage of an auto rifle. So. And then I'd just go and take another barrage of bullets out of that goo dude, but whatever. We can survive this. We'll be right. Unless unless I get blocked like three times in a row. I can't believe I got out of that situation. There we go. We got this. We got this now. Just gotta kill that guy. And this guy. And take this guy out before he whacks me with his big old hammer. And basically power attack everyone just running up and sprinting because we're at that range of health where honestly it doesn't matter We could probably get away with doing anything at this point as long as we don't get shot too much like we did before Alrighty, so a little bit of a um, I mean not the smoothest run But we can all admit that that was my mistakes and not the fault of the weapons and we could also learn from that experience I mean, it's pretty obvious, but you know you gotta know your limits sometimes you can't exactly you know, you can't just McFucking send it all the time, you know what I'm saying? Appalachia is ours. Actually, it belongs to Todd Howard, so in the name of Todd Howard, you're under arrest. Is he down below? Okay, I was confused for a second. Again, I was outwitted by super mutants. I think my intelligence is going down. Maybe it's because I played too much BR mode. Wow, that's bright. That hurt my eyeballs. Stop. Crabby time. Okay, let's just go. Um, appears to be another turf war going on here. The queen is scorched and her subjects aren't too happy about it. So I guess they're all going to dogpile on the queen. I'll save you, queenie. I've got this. Don't worry. I'm coming for you later. Oh, wait. She's running away. Okay, th that makes my job a little bit easier then. Also, that was a headshot for... 500 damage? Well, we killed him at least. I'll, I'll admit that. I'm gonna whack you, by the way. Take that, mate. And power attack from the air. Thank you, Vats, for letting me know. And now we can go to killing the queen. Luckily, we've got dead man sprinting because we can catch up to her right quick. She managed to resist that shot even though it registered as actual damage that I did. Oh my god! Her kids want to kill her! She's deploying unscorched babies? What? Also, I'm just completely wrecking them. Best weapon ever. We can one shot. We can one shot a baby who isn't scorched. Oh, poor mummy. Her kids hate her. She must have done something real bad if her kids hate her. And then she disappeared. I was going to grab that fiberglass and whatever the hell else you dropped to me, but wow, okay. Good to see that they're, you know, spending all this time and resources creating game modes when we've still got this nonsense happening, eh? Alright, I'm gonna attempt to one-shot Swan, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna go up to him. We've got a crit ready. Now, do we go for a crit or a power attack to his head? I'm gonna go power attack to his head, see how that works. Oh, okay. So 6,000 damage will do Swan in, so that gives us a little bit of an idea of his total health pool. Under 6,000. Maybe it is a little... Maybe it is 6,000. No, is that that's way too much, right? I don't really know. At least we, we killed him in one shot and that wasn't even a headshot. That's how hard we hit him. Alrighty. It is time once again for 
the train yard smash and it looks like we've drawn doggos this time I'm gonna have to get down and dirty with them because I don't have any range neither do they so hopefully more it's a more of a um, fair fight at, at least this time but it's not really a fair fight because they don't hit as hard as other things as the legendary at least if he drops me a bit of armor I would have maxed out my scripts on that he didn't drop me armor. Okay, at least we've drawn more doggos this time. This is heaps more than we got last time. Now, I've got to watch my rads at this point because I'm pretty much dead. Like, any white blood cells that were in me before, you know, stepping into this little train station, station section are probably dead now. You know, it would be interesting if um, they made you more susceptible to disease and I just stood on a thing. Ow. Ooh, nearly got snapped on him. All right. Are we done yet? I th I think we're done. Oh, there's some tin cans here. Okay, everybody come here to farm this shit. All right, I'm just going to fast travel and yep, okay, we're done. Okay, Ninja goes down and Forcer comes on, so we'll just take him out with a couple of shots. Looks like he's about to land. All right, good man. And he's close. We're on flat ground. Any of the things that he's summoned have probably not bothered to spawn and we almost got him one-shotted and for our troubles we get 30 cents out of that i think that encapsulates all of the uh creature kills that i've got the my Alert queen and then um swan and now the scorch beast so you know what i'm just gonna quickly split before all the gun zombies get here and kick my ass but i think you get the point that there was a bloodied swing speed pat less power attack damage taking in when you're power attacking and all doing all that stuff uh thing it's a pole hook yes um so if you'd like to see this weapon in your game well you better either farm from Myrna, maybe check out market 76 but if you're interested in the weapon that i'm holding in my hands right now maybe if you're using all rise you want to get something a little bit better um i'm willing to let this thing go uh show us what you got might be tempted to get rid of her but yeah i'm interested to see your uh your um your offers if you decide to you know that you actually want this thing so yeah hit me up probably on discord yeah we'll go on discord if you want thank you for watching guys